My name is Ivan Krastev, and I'm the chair of the Center for Liberal Strategies in Sofia and permanent fellow at the Institute for Human Sciences in Vienna. What is changing in Europe very much is the nature of the democratic politics. First, you have a huge majority of the public, which became much more mistrustful to the democratic institutions in general, national institutions, European institutions. But secondly, the nature of the political conflicts in the country are changing. We see a much more polarized space, where basically you see the other political parties much more as a really kind of a undesired opponents than as a possible partners. And I do believe this is going to be a challenge because the European Union was very much based on the assumption of a consensual democratic politics. Now listen, European Commission is not the one to basically shape the national politics in a member states. It's much more the national politics that shaped the commission. But I do believe that at least in my view, the biggest task of the Commission is to try to convince Europeans that we should not fear the future. We should try to make sense of it. Uh, because the fact that 67% of the Europeans today believe that the life was better before is one of the most kind of a threatening survey that I have ever read. Listen, it can. People should meet and they should talk. And the most important is to have places in which people feel free to say what really worries them without being afraid that this is going to affect their careers or their positioning. So from this point of view, these free discussions are very important because in a certain way, uh, European Union has two biggest enemies now to try to deal with. One is panic, start panicking, not good. The other is complacence and trivialization, pretending that really not something serious is underway. There is something serious underway. We should not panic and meetings like this should keep us to stay in the middle. <laughs>